Hi guys, back again, welcome to the video. Um, this week is week four of marathon training and uh, today start, um, well basically signifies the first session of the week. Um, so Tuesdays tends to be more interval work. Um, so today we've got some Yasso uh, 800s on the agenda. So we've got just six Yasso 800s. Um, uh, it's meant to be like a seven minute mile pace or 3.30 per interval. Um, probably gonna try and go a little bit quicker than that. Uh, so just finished up with a warm-up lap down here at Stanley Park. So just done four laps of the track, nice mile warm-up. Uh, we're going to get into six intervals of 800 metres at a good pace with a two-minute or 200 metre, but we're probably going to go for two-minute recovery. Uh, just walk, kind of keep nice and warm in between, and then a one-mile cool down. So again, first session of the week this week, mileage is starting to creep up. Uh, just trying to get some speed in the legs in uh, ahead of the 10k PB effort that we've got on Sunday coming up. Uh, so we're going to have to hold like a, seven, a 650 sort of pace on Sunday for six miles for the whole 10k. Uh, so yeah, just going to get some speed in the legs ready for that. Uh, also guys, today marks first day of so finally got some long run shoes. So um, I think they call that Nike Zoom um, Invincible. So they just just come out, um, got these as a birthday present off uh, Meg's mum and dad. So yeah, thanks them for that. So just did my first first run out in them just now. So that actually felt quite good. Uh, just did a mile, uh, like I say, four laps around the track. So they're feeling quite good. A lot of sponge, uh, not used to it. I've been running, doing my long runs in like some my Nike tempos. Uh, so they've got quite, Un un unforgiving heel um, so a little bit of heel pain from the the mileage what i've been doing building up but these kind of help definitely a lot with that so i've just finished up the warm-up in these now i'm going to head into the main intervals again breaking out i think we've seen these a couple of videos ago the nike alpha flies um, so these have got like a really big drop from heel down to toe um, but also nice carbon plate in there nice and solid and if you can see the fly mesh upper so like I say, pretty much brand new. I gave them a bit of a wipe down. I've done about, got about 10 miles in these so far. So I'll use them again for an easy run. Probably not gonna be doing that again. I'm gonna use these for some more of these interval workouts um, ahead of race day. And also like I said, I'll be probably wearing these on Sunday and I've got a couple of half marathon PB attempts throughout the training period. So I'll be using them for them, but other than that, pretty much saving them for race day. But yeah, let's get these on and get cracking. seven minute per mile pace well sorry 307 interval it's like a 614 minute per mile pace probably went up a little bit hot uh, felt comfortable but bearing in mind we've got five more to do so just having two minute recovery trying to keep the legs moving walking it around we'll go to the second interval Good. so we'll get this second one boxed off and i'll tell you a little bit about gas 800 why we do them uh, kind of the stimulus behind it and why they're useful for both interval and uh, long distance training. Oh, 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 
uh, 800, so two lots, 307 done so far. Feeling good, breathing's fine. Legs are a little bit stiff. Feel like coming off the back off, did a half marathon two days ago. So, well, yeah, literally like 48 hours ago, I was finishing up. So yeah, a little bit stiff in the calves still, a little bit tight. I've been getting a bit of uh, heel pain in the right heel. So I think it's a bit like plantar fasciitis. Um, it can come from like tight calves, also up in the mileage a bit more. So I'd never really run more than like 20 miles a week. The minute over the last few weeks, I've brought it up to about 35 miles a week. So again, this is week four. Started off around 20 miles, 25, 30, 35. Week four, I think we're coming to about 38 miles this week. So yeah, it's getting tough, but that's what we're training for. So considering throwing in a few um, intervals on the bikes. So when we do like the long, easy runs, it's just more about that zone two aerobic training. So not like today, obviously, if I'm breathing. I was thinking about doing them on the air bike or just even a stationary bike, just to kind of keep the breathing going nice and steady, but also give the joints a bit of a, uh, bit of a rest bike. But yeah, 30 seconds, quick breather. Go oh, again for that third one. Third interval, 309, it's like a 618 minute per mile pace. We have 309 for the 800, got these two minute rests. Feeling pretty good to be honest, feeling good. Um, felt like maintaining the same sort of pace because it's a couple of seconds off, but I'm not ideal with pacing just yet. I was thinking, to be fair, after I did that first one at 307, that I struggled to maintain it, but I actually felt like I was going a little slower on that one. And then when I looked after the first lap, I was on pace for about the same. So yeah, I'll probably try and hold these now. Talking's not helping, but trying to bring the heart rate back down to like 120 or so in between intervals have about a minute's rest and we'll go again so these yasso 800s then um the main kind of well it was the idea behind them is that if you can run if you're aiming to run in your marathon say for example i'm aiming to run a three hour and 30 minute marathon then that should mean that i should be able to complete these yasso 800s so 800 meter intervals with a two minute recovery at a three minute and 30 second pace so as long as i'm able to hit three minutes and 30 for each of these 800 meter intervals with a two minute recovery i think it's 20 is the full test to make sure that just before you do your marathon you're able to do 20 intervals of 800 meters at, three th at the old marathon pace if that makes sense so a three minute 30 second 800 translates times 20 with a two minute recovery translates into a 330 marathon and it's meant to be roughly um roughly accurate but for me, the pace isn't so much a different distance, uh, the problem. It's more about having the, the distance in my legs. Yeah, so that last two intervals to go now. It's getting into game time. A bit cringe, but unfortunately we are in sunny Blackpool. And I know you might be mistaken and think that we're actually in Dubai. Uh, like all everybody else, everybody else in the UK it seems. But we're not. So for the, those in Dubai, let's go with them in spirit. We'll go tops off for the last two. What do you reckon here? Yeah? Go on then. Let's go. Go on then. Go on then. We'll go tops off last two. got the vest on, but we'll go all the way. Pretend we're in summer. 
Why not? So we're getting yeah, Garmin HRM Pro. So that's synced up with the watch. So you can see my heart rate there was like 185 at the end of that, down to about 130. So I'm gonna head back over to the start line. It's full five. consistent but yeah feeling pretty good heart rate's back down to like 120 or so mid 120s feeling nice with the topper in that Dubai spirit but yeah hopefully we'll get away again this year um we've got the marathon coming up in may and then we're just going to be back into crossfit training so if you didn't know already crossfit is my background in the last couple of years and if you do know anything about crossfit they've got an uh, analogy to cotton and the topper So I'm actually from Preston, but I used to do a lot of running down here when I was younger. So I was a member of Preston Harry's for like 10 years. I don't know when I was like eight, but I was mostly a sprinter. A couple of 800s, but never, never really anything longer than a four. 400 meters from my background before I got into CrossFit. So yeah, I've been sick a few times on this track. So it felt nice to just get back down here. Very different style of training completely. Mostly I would have been doing like nothing further than 300 meter intervals to do with some 800s was a bit of a change, but yeah, felt good. Let's let the heart rate come down. I've got two minutes, let the heart rate come down now. Chuck the uh, warm up trainers on again for the long run trainers. And we'll just go for a nice steady one mile cool down and round off the session. A little bit different one today, just showing you a full track workout start to finish. So if you yourself are working on a five or a 10K perhaps, or anything shorter, literally anything in that time domain, five to 5K or longer, um, you really want to be thinking about why am I not getting quicker? You know, if all you're doing is going out day after day and just slogging out 5K a couple of times a week, you're going for a PB on every attempt, you want to really think about mixing up the training a little bit and uh, breaking out the training across the week. Maybe you're doing that long, easy, slow run um, on the weekend, perhaps Saturday or Sunday. That should be probably longer than the distance that you're training for if you're going for like a 5 or 10k of course. If you're going for marathon then it's a little bit different. But yeah, 5 to 10k PB attempters, you want to be looking probably an extra little bit further than that just so your body's got the distance in the legs accustomed to going that way. And then in the week, I'd probably say focus on some couple of short sessions. So you might want to do one long run on a weekend, one run around the distance that you're hoping to run during the week but again not too quick nice and steady keeping that heart rate down just get building that aerobic base and then i'd say at least once a week especially for you for five and ten k's you want to be doing some short interval sessions just like this get yourself on a track or just find yourself a distance of two to four hundred meters hit some laps and these should be an intensity that is higher than race pace so today i'm, I'm i mean i'm only hoping to hit an eight minute per mile pace come uh, marathon target pace was like a seven minute per mile today i was running those at anywhere between three and three uh, sorry seven sorry six and six ten minute per mile pace so i was going much quicker than i'm actually hoping to be running on on race day so then the thought is that when i drop back to that eight minute per mile pace it feels super easy but yeah thank you very much for watching guys that's going to be it for today round off the video if you enjoyed it please hit the like button it does really help the channel um, if you really enjoyed it you can hit subscribe and uh, keep an eye for more content like this. So this is week four. I'm gonna be doing right the way through up to week 16 
and eventually race day of the marathon so you can subscribe for more content like this and yeah tell your friends hopefully share the channel about get us a bit more known and then uh, we'll be able to help more people well thanks very much for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video take care